this used to be a corn mill in the past. in the mill I get glimpses of Winscombe Church that I was visiting earlier and a big old mansion that looks like at last somebody is um, sorting it out it doesn't look like they're going to pull it down it looks like they've gutted it but left the but it, it looks quite Spanishy in some ways it's a big old mansion and I think to myself those some of those oaks know the story of that place and it has been tidied up, the lawns, the grass has been cut. Before it was just, no one had even been in it. I don't know how long it had been empty, years. It's still got a lot of work got to be done for it, but it looks like somebody might be saving it. But it's a brilliant view. I've taken as many shots as I can. Now, and that's just up from the mill there. The corn mill. I took a picture of the plaque describing when it was used and all that sort of thing, the corn mill. And then you've got this this little stream that comes from that um, brook and we've got all these gnats these gnats here loads of gnats look at them all but this, um, this water comes from that mill and it's a beautiful afternoon it's so nice and cosy it's not too hot it's not cold. There's still a breeze when you need it. And it's beautiful. And I'm really glad I got out. It's very, very difficult to me to um, video cycling at the moment because I've got to have the battery charger attached, which obviously takes up an awful lot of room. Now, these new traffic signals ahead, this is all to do with Hinkley Point, like these pylons here. And it looks to me like they're making a new road. I spotted a bit when I went to Crook's Peak two weeks ago that there was something going on and they put big signs up. But from the distance back there on the church, from Winscombe Church, I could see great big diggers, lots of activity going on. Oh, but despite all that, look at this beautiful scene of oak trees. Look what you've got to witness now in the countryside oak trees. <sighs> There's a few people around, it's not too busy, and it's beautiful. 
Well, I'm glad I got out. It's worth it. And there's loads and loads of walks around here, you know. God, if I lived out here, I'd be spoiled for choice. Put it that way, spoiled. There's another foot public footpath here. See, there's another public footpath here. Huge views. Shoot shelf hill over there. It's just magnificent, everyone. And those oak trees, wow, they're absolutely magnificent. I so love trees, really do, and I love the smell here. I love the smell. And the th here we go, we've got the Hinkley Point project, working the Mendip Hills. It's to do with the National Grill Grid. Maybe they're not building Banwell um, Bypass then. It looks like something. I'll look it up when I get home. We're building a new high voltage electricity connection between Bridgewater and Sea Bank to enable us to connect new sources of low carbon electricity to homes and business. Our work in the Mendip Hills includes building a 3.5 kilometre section of underground cables, removing western power distribution existing pylons. It will leave this part of the area outstanding natural beauty pylon free for the first time since the 1960s. Oh, so they're going to take these down then? I see. So it isn't going to be a motorway, it'll be covered up. And I can see diggers now. I'll take some photos when I get over there. All right, trees, it looks like it's going to be okay. Oh, aren't you beautiful? Oh, my goodness. I worry about the trees everywhere. Over and out. Right, Crook's Peak over there. Beautiful views, everyone. All around. Just doing a small video if, if I can. I'm going <laughs> very difficult on the bike. I'm trying to reverse on the bike. Over there we've got um, Winscombe Church right in the distance. Look. I've taken loads of pictures of it as reference point. Down there is where all they're doing all the work. Hinkley Point people. There's the big old mansion. And... <sighs> There's a church. And if I zoom out, you can see that the, um, I can get past you, you, that's it, I can. You can see that, um, you can see the view of the, the mansion as well, look. It's quite a big, that would have been a big estate at some point. That would have been a big estate, lovely house. I wanted to get in that years ago, when it was really derelict, before anyone had got in. It was thick with brambles and sticking nettles, and it looks like they've stripped it right back now. Anyway, I'm on the way to Christon now. I'll try and do a bit of videoing. There are cars that come very close. And basically, there's not a lot of room. There's not a lot of room. And it's very difficult to video, but I'll just do a little bit. And every time a car comes by, I have to stop and get into the hedge, more or less. Because they don't like... They don't want to scratch their vehicles, you see. They'd rather they'd scratch you. Hiya! Lovely out here, isn't it? Lovely, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, I'm videoing me going down this lane. And obviously you can get cameras up front on your hat. I don't want to be that organised. This is just spontaneous. So I'm on the way back. Some big holes here. 
I'm on the way back. There's a big hill to climb. Uh, there's not only the climb up through Western Lane I've got to do. I've also got to climb up past the Keeper's Cottage. Oh, look at that view there, look. That's Crook's Peak. I was on it two weeks ago. And I walked the other side of Chryston. All right. What it is, I've come in the other way on the bike. I've gone to near Whip St. Lawrence, up the Strawberry Line, past Buxton, past Sanford, and on to Winscombe. Then I got from Winscombe, I went to the church. Just stop here a minute. Yeah, I'll start getting tired soon, I know that. And I'll have the sun right in my face. That's always the problem when you go back to Western. You get the hot sun right in your face. Oh, I can smell the dung. Something you can't describe the smell on a video. You can't. Yeah, it's right up there. I haven't done that bit this year. No, that hasn't been done this year yet. I'm going to turn off for a bit. So it's very difficult to video when I'm cycling, very difficult.